<clears throat> okay, so uh, I got some more stickers in. I got to cut them up uh, while I was at it since I had a um, coupon code or whatever. Uh, picked up a pen and a mouse pad. I needed one anyway, so hey, why not have my logo on it? All right. Uh, the other thing, I got a mail call, two of them actually. Um, this one from Harvey Spooner. It's a great guy with a massive <laughs> a collection of uh, stuff. And uh, I love every one of his videos, but I'm into the things he talks about. The bikes and the and the um, tractors and uh, quads and, and uh, just life in general. And uh, you know, so he has a, a real nice place with a neat, uh, nice pro piece of property. And <laughs> But, I, you know, everybody, I think everybody knows Harvey Spooner. But link in the description in case you don't. Check him out. Um, Farm Boy 30117. Uh, I'm fairly new to his channel, but so far I like everything I'm seeing. Uh, good job. Um, uh, my stickers are in, so I'll be sending a sticker to hit you. I, I unfortunately just got them today, which is Thursday, August 25th. So, uh, anyway. So, uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to put these on the cabinet. There you are, on the cabinet. Harvey Spooner and the uh, Hoarding Mayhem. I don't know if this is going to focus. I don't know why it would, right? And uh, Farm Boy 30117. Awesome stickers, guys. Thank you. All these guys up here. Holy cow. I might run out of space. <clears throat> Speaking of space, uh, as you all know, I finished the uh, Gilson. I got a, I took the uh, mower deck, wrapped it up. It's under the deck. Um, I think I did it in a way that's going to keep it from rusting. I guess time will tell. <clears throat> but I've been riding it up and down the street, just kind of terrorizing the uh, subdivision because uh, it's kind of fun to ride. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, once a week I'm going to take it out just so it doesn't, uh, carpet doesn't get gummed up or whatever. But <clears throat> I seem to be running out of space, and here's why. Um, two more. That's a Gilson Commander 1200 and a Sears Custom 10XL. I don't know what years they are. I don't know anything about them. Uh, I was looking for a plow for my Gilson because the snow blower is great for three inches and above, but it's really not that great if you have under three inches. Um, so I wanted a plow to go with it. But I can't find a plow, and the two that I found were like $200, and I don't know for sure that they would fit. So I saw an ad for that plow for $50 for the whole tractor. So I went to go pick it up, and the guy's like, could you take the Sears too? I said, I could, but I don't have the money. I, I don't have any money on me. You know, I just I had I brought up the $50 for that, and that was it. And he's like, no, just take it. So I went out with $50, came back with two tractors. All the parts are here as far as I can tell. <clears throat> so I'm going to fix this one up and sell it. Um, right now I just got, um, his dad had taken off the front end and the hood and everything, so I just got to put it all back together, but, like, there's the air cleaner, and there's the, um, flywheel cover and whatnot, but every, otherwise everything else is here. The deck has seen better days, so I'll probably clean that up. I might even actually paint that. <clears throat> I might even, you know, paint the top. It's white, you know. I've got plenty of white paint around here. Um, I might have to get a belt. I don't think I have any belts. I don't think any belts came with it, but the blades seem to turn. The motors turn. None of them are frozen. They freewheel like, I mean, I was able to push them in and out of here no problem. So, um, so that's what I've done. Uh, these tires are horrible. As you can see, they're like completely bald right here. Um... So I'll have to get some new t tread for the back of this thing. But they're small tires, so I'm hoping it won't cost that much. Um, but mower deck, snow blade, tractor. Uh, for right now, <clears throat> this is going to sit uh, outside and covered. And whenever we get three inches or less of snow, I'm going to use this to clear it with the snow blade. And if we get more than three inches, I'm going to use that one. 
So, yeah, I'm not, none, neither of the decks are attached. I just put them under there for now to get them out of my way. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know much about either of these. Um, other than, like I said, they're, they're, I don't see any reason why they wouldn't run. So, um, the steering's a little tight, but once you get moving, it, it frees up. Obviously, that's not the steering, right, correct steering wheel for it, so... I might look into getting one of those and a new seat. Obviously, that's ripped. But those are relatively cheap items. Um, but, and then that's the grill for the front. And uh, so, like I said, everything's here. Um, I think even the air cleaner's here somewhere. I'll have to look around. It's a 12 horse Kohler. Um, this will actually be the first one of these Kohlers I've worked on. I'm pretty sure this battery's crap. Um, so the uh, the guy, <clears throat> the kid I bought it from, uh, used it his, at his parents' house all the time uh, to clear snow and whatnot. And uh, he went off to college, came back five years later this year, and they hadn't touched it. Um, instead of clearing the snow themselves, they hired a service. Anyway, so it sat for the last five years, so <clears throat> it's not going to be an easy fix, but I think uh, it won't be that hard either. Uh, clearly the fuel system and the carburetor, uh, it's just all going to have to be cleared out completely. And um, the, all the tires hold air, the steering works. Like I said, I was able to wheel them up my driveway, no problem. Uh, get them in here, again, no problem. Even with the chains, it just... It was really easily to it was real easy to move so i um like i said i i have to look into this one some more i'm not sure if there's it seems to me there should be like some uh something here other than these pegs for your feet um uh, but i don't know maybe that's all there was I don't, I don't even know what year it is so i'll have to uh like i said i'll have to look it up and research it a little bit Luckily, there's a couple of Gilson forums. I'm sure somebody has some information on that. And then again, the Sears. Sears is in relatively good shape. The only thing is, it hasn't been running a long time either. So, probably have to clear the um, carburetor and the gas tank and whatnot. Um, but the tires are real good on it. And I don't know. But I can't have all these tractors, so one of them is going to have to go. It's probably going to be that one. Sears <clears throat> uh, after I get it running uh, and the fact is if I can get a snow blower for that that's going to go if I can get a snow plow for that then that's going to go but if that goes I'm going to clean it up because I ain't going to get a whole lot for it the way it stands right now anyway uh, I got a busy weekend this weekend uh, plus my daughter is having all four of her wisdom teeth pulled so I won't be doing any more videos this weekend. I was hoping to get a ride in, um, but the weather's just not cooperating. It's either 90 and 70% humidity, or it's um, raining. Uh, there was one Sunday where it was like the mid, low 70s. And it was beautiful riding weather, and I went out riding. In fact, I went out riding. For, I was gone the whole day. Uh, but uh, I didn't bring the camera because I was with a bunch of guys, and... Um, a number of them have expressed a dislike for having a camera in their face. So, to respect their wishes, I just, I just didn't. But, cool weather's coming, my friends, so I will be back on the bike shortly. But again, even if it comes this weekend, I can't do it this weekend, but, so, anyway. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I figure for $50... I really can't go wrong. Oh, and the snow blade isn't really attached. It's just kind of hanging there. But I checked to make sure everything's there. Everything for both tractors is there. Except, except maybe the air filter for this one. Uh, but I left the guy my number. And uh, they're cleaning out their house. So I said, if you run across it, give me a call. Or if you run across anything, give me a call. And um, He was happy to oblige. And he, says, um, he also asked if I fix that up, I should send him a picture <laughs> he misses it uh, but he lives in Colorado and he's already got a new Kubota or something out there errands or something so he didn't want to take it with him 
And after seeing his Mercedes, I can understand why he wouldn't want to tow a trailer behind it. So, yeah. So, okay, that's enough. I'm rambling. So, later, guys.